Hey Boo and welcome home to Revolution Tarot and happy Diwali to all of you. For those of you who are in India, from India, my country and you're celebrating Diwali or people who are watching me from abroad and you are an Indian and you're celebrating Diwali. Um, happy Diwali to you all and uh, thank you so much for tuning in and supporting my channel. So today we are tapping into a pick a card reading for you and this pick a card topic is about how do others see your beauty okay so i was pretty intrigued with this topic and i was like okay i have to do this for my channel and i want to see like what is so beautiful about you and how others experience your beauty like what do they perceive of your beauty how do they see it how do they witness it okay so you have three options in front of you pile one pile two pile three Pick and choose whichever option is pulling you the most. You can be drawn to all three options, two options, one option. The ball is totally in your code, boo. All right. And um, I will see you in your piles. The second thing is that I have my Patreon. Uh, you can check out the tiers there. I have my Alchemist tier. I have my Pick a Card tier, which is my Prophetic tier. And I have my Superhuman tier. So you can check out all three tiers to see what I offer exclusively for my patrons over there and thank you so much to all my patrons for supporting me all right so i'll see you in your piles my love peace all right so for those of you who chose pile one let's tap in pile one let's see how do others see your beauty okay um so spirit tap me into pile one how do others see oh look at you coming out with the pearl card wow interesting connect to the divine it says okay beautiful let's see uh spirit tap me into pile one how do others see pile one's beauty okay we have uh this is the red card which says forgive okay hmm and we have mural be your own first priority okay all right and then let's take this deck spirit tap me into pile one how do others see pile one's beauty how do they perceive pile one's beauty we have voodoo in blue with back off okay and let's get one more deck here spirit tap me into pile one how do others see pile one's beauty how do others see pile one's beauty Okay, we have Resurrection. Okay, there's something about royalty that's coming through here. Okay. We have Resurrection here. Okay. So, Pile 1, how do others see your beauty? Hmm. First of all, I'm getting that you have a very, very rare beauty, okay? There's something about your beauty which is very rare. Now, some of you literally could wear pearls, um, like could wear diamonds, pearls, gems, or something like that. Maybe um, for some of you, you could be like religious and you could be given some like gemstones from maybe your astrologers, you know, they have given you certain gemstones to wear um, on your fingers or... Um, as a necklace or something like that or you could literally wear pearls as earrings um yeah so your beauty is very uh classy i'm hearing like i said like the word royalty was coming through and then i got the word uh classy right now okay so something about your beauty is very very rare it's i'm hearing exquisite okay like i'm hearing exquisite taste so your beauty how others see your beauty is that they have not come across a a person like you before um, in terms of your looks okay the way that you carry yourself uh, there's something very rare about it uh, something also very very um, well spoken I'm hearing okay something about you and your words and the way that you choose your words in communication and conversations um, people see that as beautiful as well in your life while um, pile one okay some of you you could your name could be pearl literally okay or um, 
this is reminding me of a friend who has a dog who is called Pearl. So some of you literally could have a pet whose name is Pearl, okay? Or um, yeah, something like that is coming through. I got a notification here also. So um, yeah, like with the notification as well, your beauty and how others see your beauty is something that like pops pops in their eyes like it, it pops in their eyes like it's something that they have not experienced before uh, is how it's coming through it's very like um, some of you could be like into retro aesthetic uh, retro styling or uh, like I'm hearing uh, vintage vintage retro styling I'm hearing like uh, Victorian yeah I'm hearing Victorian okay so that could be your aesthetic or you like you love that okay you could like go on pinterest and you could check those out uh that may relate to your style or you do that often okay so this is just some confirmations that i'm getting from spirit right here okay um yeah again with the pearl when i'm looking at this image like other pearls are out of focus but there's a focus in the middle here okay so like there is a particular feature that beautifies your entire like aesthetic there's a particular feature on your face i'm hearing okay let me see let me get into it even deeper what is that feature spirit i'm feeling the eyes like the the symmetry of your face and there's something about like your style which is you have a touch of elegance and a touch of class and style but there is also there is also this touch of like a darker aesthetic okay so some of you could also then you have to like show up in some events you know like you have to dress very classy or very elegantly or very you know done up in that way um but then there are times when you like you could just have your hoodie on or you could like with, with a lot of dark aesthetic i'm picking up so like dark hoodies like dark color hoodies or um like i'm um, hearing tank tops or um and there could be like a side partition that you do with your hair um that looks very beautiful on you like people love that style on you okay on your hair i mean um the side partition okay some of you could have like dark black hair some of you could have orange hair literally okay yeah but how do others see your beauty is like your beauty is comforting to them your beauty is even though you like if for example you're going to an event where like you're really done up and you're wearing your pearls or your gems or your diamonds or whatever like however you're looking there's still this level of comfort that people feel with your beauty even though you are done up so well like people don't feel that you are snobbish or that you know you won't talk to them like people feel very warm through your beauty as if like you will welcome them or you will um you'll be very comfortable to talk to or like you will be very open-minded to talk to or very fun to like get to know um, that's how people experience your beauty, especially people who are strangers and, you know, you're suddenly just meeting them, right? Um, but it doesn't have to be limited to just strangers. But there's something about that. I'll, I'll let you know what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, for those of, for those people who already know you and how they see your beauty is that they have seen two sides of you, which I was expressing, right? Like there's this very light, bright and very divine feminine kind of aesthetic that you have which is like i'm hearing old money aesthetic or something about that that's coming through where um you look like very very posh you know you dress up in a very posh way like um maybe you wear branded clothes or um you know how to dress up you know uh, for that uh, big event or for bigger events or things like that but the people who know you know you that you have two sides to you like there is this side to you which is very done up and very classy and um very polished but there's this other side to you which is very um like maybe you like comfort clothing or you like darker aesthetics like i said you could wear darker lipsticks um yeah there could be something very witchy about your beauty like that other side of you is like a very witchy aesthetic um i'm hearing like vamp goth aesthetic as well um and people feel intimidated by that side of you so how others experience your beauty when you are on those days where you feel darker like where where you're not welcoming where you are a bit intimidating like where you are a bit mysterious like back off don't talk to me um 
your vibe gives it off because of the way that you dress up that day you know uh, the way that your expressions also change because you are wearing black that day and you don't want, like you just want to be protected that day like you don't care you know you're completely detached so that comes off a bit like intimidating you know and if you're dressed up like that like if you have your nail colors as like darker colors or uh, like navy blue or uh, dark blue or like maybe you do your eyes in a certain way which is like which has a darker um like a darker tone to your eyes like even your eye shadows are very like darker like smoky eyes i'm hearing or um something like that um you could also have cat by the way you could be a cat person okay um you could have multiple cats for some of you okay but the other side of your beauty is very uh, intimidating okay so it's not welcoming it's not warm in fact it gives off like a warning or like a siren you know siren call like the ambulance siren right um and also the other siren i'm hearing okay interesting um like people are still drawn to it but they're scared of it at the same time is what i'm hearing um yeah and there's something about feline beauty that's coming through as well so some of you could have like re really uh, feline like features uh, feline eyes or um feline features on your face um or cat like like there's something very independent about you on some days where others experience your beauty sometimes as very independent or very off putting or like okay i i shouldn't uh, approach pile one today you know because pile one looks like they are a little bit not in the mood of socializing today or something like that this literally could be even in the gym like if you're going to a, to the gym and you're wearing darker shades like people feel a bit like okay okay uh, pile one is here and um, they are a bit like you know uh, introverted today or something like that so people experience that as well uh, with you okay yeah so and that feel even though you are intimidating and off putting like those feline features of yours are like breathtaking i'm hearing pile one like even on your off days you are that b <laughs> like pile one i'm telling you okay you are that b okay yes so let's see i'm going to get a few more tarot cards here because i'm keeping the readings a bit short and sweet but yeah um but you could have that witchy aesthetic like witchy beauty you know um yeah so let's see like i'm hearing high maintenance so people experience your beauty as something that's very high maintenance or hmm like high standards not on your warm days though um yeah so there are two sides to your beauty that people experience and like people who initially see you as that warm sided very uh, welcoming warm energy once they get to know you like they see this other side to you and they didn't they don't know like which one to like literally judge or something like that is coming through like they don't know whether they they perceived you correctly or like they gaslit themselves or something like that is coming through okay yeah interesting so let's see spirit tap me into pile 1 anything else for pile 1 in terms of how others see their beauty how others see their beauty how others see their beauty okay we have the knight of materials yeah look at the gemstones literally on the horse's body here okay oh those are flowers but they look they literally look like gemstones don't they look at this and like multicolored like emerald rubies that's literally what i'm like high standard okay like high standard stuff and you could wear like florals on your hair like you could like wearing floral earrings or uh, on your warmer days like when you are feeling like like the spring inside your own universe like when you are in that the weather of spring okay uh, yeah yeah and then we have the night of emotions okay yeah that's that siren energy that i was picking up like something about like you calling and luring people into their own demise like people feel a bit scared of this side of you which is like the the siren the witchy side of you right even though these are lighter colors but the water energy is giving me that witchy energy you know um and then we have the nine of inspiration and reverse hmm okay okay let's see okay and then we have the strength card yeah she's wearing comfortable clothing in this as well okay and she's very uh, she has a lack of focus on the current moment like she's looking at the future in this situation in this card i mean and then we have the temperance card okay wow like the tones of the cards themselves are giving me a story here okay like literally okay i'm going to show it to you this is crazy hold on look at the tones you see 
warm to cold okay so pile one as i was saying that um with the knight of materials and the nine of inspiration this is giving me that energy of again you're someone that your like your beauty and how others experience it is that some people get a bit insecure when you are around okay so this could be literally the same sex that is in the same room as you right for example if you're a woman and if you are at a gathering and you are dressed up and all that other women could feel a little like intimidated or like a bit like uh like standoffish or like they feel a bit insecure because of how you show up okay because look at her walk like there's something about like her showing up like that you know um there's a level of confidence that you have that could intimidate other women a little bit they could feel slightly jealous some women who are self aware could maybe feel that jealousy and feel like why is it coming out like why do i feel jealous when she's so beautiful i should fix her crown why am i feeling like that so they could self reflect especially women who are on their self healing journey on their self reflective journey but most of them i mean they're still getting there right so many women could feel jealous if you're a woman and same goes for masculines here um yeah there's something about i'm hearing your silhouette like your uh the fit of your clothes is very that is what gives off old money that is what gives off high maintenance okay so you could wear branded clothes or you like when you dress up you really dress up right um and that that really um impresses a lot of people okay so others experience your beauty and they are very very impressed by your choice of colors or your choice of aesthetic um they are very impressed they are very like mesmerized by it like they some people want to ask you like where did you get this dress from or where did you uh find the inspiration for the style from like some people literally want to copy you the next gathering that they go to literally okay that's what's coming through and for the other aspect of this which is the cooler part um with the in, even the strength card should be warm but there's a cooler energy to this this is like during these days your beauty comes off as something that is um a bit like off reach like people still want to emotionally come and be comforted by you but they are a bit scared because of the strength card like they feel like this lion is going to bite them like as if like your anger could like i don't know attack them or you could become a bit aggressive so on those days when you're like comfortable and in your loose clothing like you're not focused on others you see how she's looking away from the card right like on the other side so people want to approach you but they feel a sense of like no they need to hold back like they they need to kind of you know keep away a little bit otherwise they might get stung or they might get bitten or something like that is coming through right um yeah yeah like that's where i'm getting like they some people who know you initially and then they get to know this side of you they feel a bit like are they gaslighting themselves like they were so warm that day and then the other time like they are dressing like so comfortably like there's no fitting or nothing like they're so comfortable like what's going on right and they feel a bit like like wow there are two sides to pile one you know with the temperance here yeah you could wear a lot of like tube tops or um metallic colors okay that is coming through as well here yeah something about you being spiritual very calm cool and collected very mature as a person uh, that's also coming through over here okay you could have short hair for some of you like blonde hair you could have dark hair black hair like i said or uh, you could have blue streaks or red streaks in your hair um for some of you okay yeah So this is what I have for you, pile uh, one. Okay, the zodiac signs I'm picking up are uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Uh, Sagittarius is strong. Leo is also strong. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Okay, so let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, pile one, and check out my Patreon for exclusive pick a card content as well as my magical content, spells content. All of that is available in my Patreon. Okay, and um, do comment down below. Okay, and do subscribe if you enjoy the content. All right, so pile two. Let's tap in and see how do others see your beauty. Okay, um, how do others see pile two's beauty spirit? How do others see pile two's beauty? Okay, we have the yellow with purify your body. Hmm. Okay. Let's get this other deck. I'm gonna get all the four decks here. So spirit, tap me in. We have the princess. You can be your own knight. some of you literally could have long hair or like dreadlocks um you could have uh, you could wear a lot of like uh, hair accessories okay pile uh, two spirit pile two we have the merry masquerade
okay wow okay and let's get one from this deck we have the eternal youth Ooh. okay all right so pile two how do others see your beauty the first thing that i'm getting um pile two about your beauty is others feel like you take care of your beauty like you're very very involved with your beauty okay um it could be your beauty routine it could literally be the kind of diet that you have like um, consuming healthy food so that you can maintain your beauty you know uh, you're very careful with what kind of products you use on your skin or you could be very very particular about what suits you what doesn't because like you have experimented with the products you know what works what doesn't and if somebody is trying to like you know sell you something or something like that you're not going to buy it because you're very very particular about what suits you what wouldn't and you have done a great deal of research about it like that's how others see your beauty okay like you're very well kept or you take care of your beauty through what you eat so something about you are what you eat like that is how others see your beauty like you eat really well so that is why you are able to um keep up with your beauty okay um yeah so that is the first thing i got the second thing i got is that how people see your beauty is that you don't do it for anyone else like you don't beautify yourself for anyone else or you're not trying to impress anyone like as far as you can impress yourself with what you're doing um that is what you care about and this is how people experience your beauty so it's like this is what people love about your beauty like people people get inspired by this about you okay about your beauty like your beauty is inspiring to people your beauty is motivating to people your beauty is authentic to people like it's like a soul deep beauty like it's an inner beauty that shines through on the outside on your outer personality as well is what's coming through okay yeah you could literally have a, a long hair okay um you could have curly hair as well like you love to curl your hair or you you have curly hair naturally and you keep it that way um for some of you or you could have really good natural hair care solutions or natural ways to keep your hair healthy um pile too okay yeah you could also naturally color your hair like i recently learned about this um maybe 6 months back that you can color your hair with coffee and beetroot mask you know um and put a little bit of henna in it and keep it for overnight and then color your hair with it um so you could be doing these things or people experience your beauty as something that's very very um like it's it's a deeper beauty it's not only just the exterior but it's the internal that shines through in the exterior is what's coming through wow pile two that, that is an inspiring story right here okay please let me know in the comments who you are god damn it get in touch with me tell me teach me a few tricks as well pile two okay i would love to know right um something about your um fragrance maybe you go for a lot of floral fragrances or um maybe essential oils could be something that you use as your fragrances like you smell like very flowery like summer like spring like very fresh okay there's something very fresh or refreshing about your beauty um i'm hearing lemony as well like very um purifying okay people experience your beauty as something that's very purifying um like an incense okay like an incense stick oh that's beautiful pile too you could be witchy or you could be into these things all right um so yeah pile too wow um you could wear hair bands as well um you could wear leggings um like leggings with stripes or doesn't have to be um but you could okay um but you dress really um i'm hearing like in a very sexy way okay your beauty is very sexy as well so something about the way that you dress like maybe you would wear um like uh, something on the inside okay this that looks very sexy like uh, maybe a, a bralette or like a bra literally okay and then on top of that like you could wear something very mesh like or um so that you're not overly showing yourself but there's so much elegance in that but yet there is a touch of and a hint of sexy and a hint of like mystery to it you know like it is veiled you know um so there's something very captivating about that like there's something very um like people experience it as something where like they don't know what to expect based on like are you overly out there with your sexiness or are you just you know kind of more on the elegant side like they feel a bit like they are not able to point out exactly which category that is you know um that's interesting that how it that, that's coming through here okay um yeah let me see 
some of you could play instruments literally and that's a part of your beauty like you could be an artist you could be a musician and um yeah some of you could do literally you could do like glamour okay like glamour magic for some of you you could know about this or you could be reading up about this studying this um so there are two sides to you and your beauty as well pile two okay i'm picking up um there's a side to you which is like i said it's very natural it's very diy it's very um it's very like cruelty free products like this is what i'm going to purchase this is what i'm going to buy etc etc you're very particular about your beauty and people experience that as something that's very motivating and inspiring but there's this other side to you which is um like you could wear lens okay um like you could beautify your face with wearing lens and then doing some eye makeup um with that lens okay and then you can like put on like blush based on your face like for example if you want to show your face a little shorter versus you want your face to look a little longer like there's a lot of detailing i'm picking up in your pile specifically you could be a virgo or like you're learning about these things okay um but yeah there's something very like mesmerizing when you wear lens and then when you do your eyes in that way and then you wear your blush based on like how you want your face to look like do you want it to look long or short um and you could know certain bl blush techniques to do that and you could do glamour on top of that like glamour magic on top of that plus i'm seeing you do your hair as well like in a very um, like you could wear wigs or you could have different styles to your hair every time okay sometimes you leave it very wavy and long like um and sometimes your beauty looks like it's very natural like it's you just put on a little bit of blush and you maybe put on some uh, like a uh, color of lens maybe any color that you like honey honey comb i'm hearing honey comb color i don't know um and then you put on some like peach color lip gloss you know and um a little bit of maybe sunscreen and you're out about out and about uh, during your day like it's very captivating it's very mesmerizing so people experience your beauty as something that is like they feel a sense of mystery to you a mystery to your beauty okay yeah like this side of you which is like very well done up and very dressed up like this is this part of you is a bit intimidating because you could do your eyes in a certain intimidating way um with a lot of like dark shades near your eyes um with eye shadow um that is darker you know and then sometimes you just keep it light you know so whenever you keep it light it's like it's a more people experience that as you know you being really adorable and you being really like you know that you're welcoming them or you are like you know being very soft that day or like people want to bask in that presence and when you are like really done up and glamorous like there's a lot of jealousy that comes your way okay so people experience a lot of jealousy when you are really done up like with your wigs and with your eyes like you're really done up um the way that you dress like it just it it is just i'm hearing unmatched like nobody can match you when it comes to the detailing and the work that you put in when you really really dress up um is what's coming through here okay yeah interesting you could have like you could literally um like you could really know how to do your glamour magic is what i'm picking up okay like you know what mood you want to bring out from people um like you know what kind of people you want to attract when you go to a certain gathering and you do a certain kind of glamour to look a certain way so that you attract those kind of people here and even if you don't do this like you are un unconsciously doing it i'm hearing okay something about that and people experiencing that and you attracting maybe the right kind of people or the right kind of opportunities when you are heading out or when you are speaking to people um people feel like people get intimidated by your beauty and a bit threatened by your beauty like who do you think you are pile to like you think just because you know the details that you can be better than me like who does she think she is i'm hearing like wow so a lot of sassy comments behind your back okay is how it, people experience your beauty for example mm -hmm. if you're at a gathering and like you're really done up like you're at a party you know and you're really done up um like other women if you're a woman other women will like gossip about you and the men in that group in that circle will be like so attracted to you at the same time so they will hear these like girls gossip about your beauty and talk ish about your beauty and put you down a little bit and even though they are doing that these guys are still so drawn to you like yeah interesting some of you could literally do glamour while you are playing an instrument out in public or during an event like you could do shows or you could um dress up for your um performances 
like if you do performances in any way shape or form right and you unconsciously attract a lot of people who are drawn to your beauty in that way like people experience being like being like uh, a bit lost in your beauty like they get lost or they get yeah in trance like they are hypnotized by your beauty yeah yeah people get hypnotized uh, when you dress up in that way and when you're like cutesy or when you don't do much makeup like you you look more warm and welcoming um even to the same sex like even to women for example if you're a woman right you look very warm and inviting to them then <laughs> is what i'm hearing so as long as you don't dress up we are cool <laughs> Yeah, this one came out. We have the six of inspiration. Yeah, you could be a Leo, pile three. Yeah, there's a lot of summer energy that I was picking up, like that Leo, that sun energy, you know. So that literally came out, and we have hierophant, and we have two of materials. I'm not taking that. Let's see what else. Spirit, tap me into pile two. How do others experience pile two's beauty? Okay, so we have the knight of emotions. Then we have justice. Look at that. Look at that. i'm telling you like there's something very mesmerizing like very very um very mesmerizing about your beauty like there's something that like people experience your beauty as something that's still not revealed like there's something much more that they need to uncover or they need to get to know you like they need to get your number like that's what i'm hearing or they need to hang out with you more like they feel this compulsion this compulsion to get to know you i'm hearing okay um then we have the three of inspiration Yeah, look at the dominoes falling here. Like it's a domino effect. Like once, once one person sees it, then the other person sees it, and everything is falling away here. Like, like if you, for example, if you enter an event, one person talks about you, then the other is it spreads like wildfire. I'm hearing like the attention that you have, it spreads like wildfire. Wow, wow, pile uh, two. Okay, and then we have the moon card. Ooh, the magnetism. Look at the moon here with the magnetism. Yeah, let's get one more. Ooh, we have the devil card. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you. Some some people experience your beauty as so addictive. Okay, so some people experience your beauty as inspiration. Again, I told you that inspiration energy is right here. Okay, so people experience your beauty as inspirational. Like they want to ask you, like, what are you doing? okay and again with the forever young card your eternal youth card some of you could really be aging like fine wine okay so even if you are older in age like you still look like you are so young or like you are so so much younger than your age like you're maintaining your beauty like how are you doing that and then some women start gossiping like mm that would be some kind of black magic that she's doing or i don't know like there's some something you know or like behind that beauty and that makeup and all that that she's put on like she must be really ugly you know that's why she's put on so much makeup like there's a lot of negative gossip that starts but only in the opposite sex when you are out and done up and you have done your you know you have dressed up really well and the opposite sex is so into you at the same time like they are like oh my god i'm addicted i'm hearing so opposite sex gets addicted to your beauty um is what's coming through here okay yeah like i'm hearing what are you hiding so people how do people experience your beauty is like there's an element of mystery to your beauty when you are all done up and like glammed up like what are you hiding you know and others like they feel like they want they feel a lot more lustful okay um yeah they could even have a dream of you that same night that they saw you like they could dream about you they they could get that obsessed with you that they have a dream about you in the night once they are off of that event or like even while they are going back home from the event and it's like night time and you know everybody is just going home like they are still like they have your image in their mind like your image is etched in their mind like eternally like wow Yeah, you could wear like loose, loose fitting clothes. You know, when you are very relaxed, you could wear like flowy skirts. Um, you could wear very like comfortable yet very like elegant and stylish tops. Um, yeah, but there's something about your beauty that keeps evolving. I'm hearing so people experience your beauty and see your beauty as something that's always evolving. Um, like you keep learning new 
tricks and tips about how to beautify yourself and how to um, eat the right vegetables or you know have a right balanced diet or do the right fitness regime and exercise to keep upkeep your beauty in the best way possible um, because you could literally be like in the limelight like you could be in the public eye you could be an artist you could be a singer you could be an um, actress um, you know you could be a musician right so you know how to keep up with that energy here beautiful yeah a lot of eyes are on you every time like and that is why you know how to like maintain that energy is what's coming through and people like experience your beauty is also something that like you dress up in a in a way that is like fair for the occasion like it's perfect for the occasion um and even though you are dressing up perfectly for the occasion like people can like gossip because they are intimidated by your beauty right like they are intimidated by your beauty like you know you are doing this because you want you know a certain kind of attention from people or you're doing it because whatever whatever but you are dressed correctly for the occasion if, if some other people are un underdressed or some people are even more overdressed or whatever people feel like you are overdressed or like you are doing too much you know but that's all jealousy right here um and like i said like mostly people are inspired and addicted to your beauty hypnotized by your beauty um and they want to ask you questions like they want to get inspired too like what cream do you use what lip color did you use i love that lip shade on you um i want to buy that too you know like you could be a really good beauty influencer pal too i'm i'm just getting it out there okay you can be a great beauty influencer all right um yeah so i have uh, leo energy very strong here i have cancer pisces scorpio libra aries um and i have capricorn here okay and taurus as well here all right yeah taurus virgo capricorn is strong here as well pile 2 wow so let me know pile 2 if this resonated with you my love okay um this was beautiful okay beautiful reading right here and please give me some tips like give me some tips as to how i can do it like you i am inspired by you as well pile 2 all right so let me know your signs like and let me know if this reading resonated in the comments down below and um do like do share this video if you enjoyed it and do comment down below if you want to share anything with me all right so pile 3 let's tap in and see how do others see your beauty pile 3 okay oh we have the brilliance card wow damn you might be the most dazzling pile of them all don't tell them all right <laughs> literally that's what i'm picking up here discover your sparkle it says so if you could like uh, literally wear a lot of sparkle like glitters okay you could wear a lot of glitters or maybe like highlights on your face or um i'm picking up uh, yeah highlights right those very shimmery highlights which like literally help your face glow and shimmer um in the light okay yeah or you could wear a lot of glitters in your eye shadow or in your eyeliners um in your nail colors like you love glittery stuff okay yeah and then we have sword make the change all right interesting and she's cutting her hair here in this card hmm so you're not afraid of like making drastic changes to your beauty or to your style um is what's coming through okay interesting let's get all the cards out here then we have sea beacon fairy interesting okay yeah and i have sparkles here as well okay yeah and then well, let's get this one here we have ooh we have the witness that's a striking beauty right there that's you pile 3 okay um in case you didn't know all right some of you could literally have a uh, black and gold hair like you could have um done ombre ombre effect on your hair okay but you do your eyes like really well like i'm seeing a lot of like uh, big lashes or you could put on that mascara like <laughs> you use that mascara the best i'm hearing okay like your eyes are very captivating um and others experience your beauty or see your beauty um 
in a way that cannot be missed like your beauty it cannot be missed okay um is what i'm hearing like and it's not just because of your the way that you're doing your eyes or your lashes like it's not just that but it's also your confidence and the way that you carry your beauty you know the way that you carry the hands that you have been dealt by the universe or by the higher powers like it's it's dazzling to say the least here yeah like how people experience your beauty is they get a rush when they see you like they get a rush um is what's coming through some of you could have really long hair or um you could wear hair accessories um yeah something about that is coming through and i feel like people because of this confidence that you have people kind of have to go and look in the mirror and see like are they looking fine <laughs> how people experience your beauty pile to let me tell you like they have to go to the washroom check look in the mirror and check whether like is my hair proper or is there one strand that's looking a little crazy like i don't want pile three to think that i'm like a loser or i'm like a whatever like i want pile three to know to to like have the best impression of me because pile three is so good like pile three is the best like i've never seen a beauty like pile three like i'm telling you i'm not gassing you up pile three whatever i see in the cards i say okay that's me as a reader for you yeah and i feel like you put a lot of time and effort in to when you are getting ready like there's a lot of precision and your aesthetic is also something that's not really i'm picking up like it's it's a blend of comfortable yet it's a blend of like um comfortable yet very elegant yet very classy okay like you could be into wearing gowns you could be into wearing um comfortable clothing but that really fits you well like comfortable clothing that really suits you you know you have it's like you have figured out what suits you the best in terms of the kind of makeup you like to do and you have like a signature like this is the kind of makeup i'm going to do or this is the kind of clothes that i'm going to wear and i know i'm going to kill it i know that i'm going to look the best like you have discovered that style about yourself okay and people literally have to like check themselves as to like are they up to your standards like are they looking as good as you or yeah and some people experience this as jealousy like some people experience this as like what's with that confidence like what's what's with that over confidence i'm hearing like people don't see your confidence as confidence but like some people get intimidated and they project onto you their own insecurities by saying that like you are overconfident or like you're just putting on a show or something like that okay yeah but there's something very like ethereal about your beauty like there's something very like maybe you like a lot of uh, cooler shades i'm hearing like pastel shades or cooler shades um blue shades like shades of blue um dark blue or something like that is coming up okay let me get a bit more cards on this but like people i'm hearing people see your beauty as something that they take it as a guidance as to how they can do the same thing because there's something very innovative about your beauty i'm picking up there's something very innovative very creative about the way that you do your beauty okay something about your skin as well like your skin is flawless Is, is it glows i'm hearing like there's something very i told you like that highlight game is on point okay um the highlight game um some of you could wear lens as well like blue lens or light blue light gray lens like pastel shade lens interesting i've never heard of that before pastel shade lens gray lens like you could wear those colors or you could also wear honey honey uh, colored or amber colored lens i'm hearing okay and there's something about like when you are not done up that way like even naturally there's something very like pinkish to your skin tone like it looks like you have you have put on a natural blush this could be during colder weather or it could be gen- generally like if someone pulls your cheek like it would get red instantly okay 
Yeah, interesting. Let's get a bit more on this, okay? Okay, so we have seven of materials. Yeah. Red hair. Some of you could have red hair, literally. Yeah, I picked that up initially also. And you could tie up your hair sometimes. Hmm. And then we have the three O voices. Okay. Interesting. Then we have ASO voices. Look at the colors on her hair. This is like streaks of pink and blonde. I'm telling you there's something very innovative about the way that you do your hair and your makeup. Something is very like I'm hearing fluorescent pink. So there's a side of you that's very colorful and that colorful side of you is like very like freedom loving like very much like a like LGBTQ, you could be an LGBTQ um, from the LGBTQ community. Um, or you could be very eccentric. I'm picking up a lot of Aquarian energy. You could have Aquarius in your chart here. Okay. Yeah, we have, oh my God, as I said, Aquarius. As I said, Aquarius. God damn it. The star card. That is Aquarius card. Okay. Damn. And we have the two of emotions. Yeah. So pile three, how do people experience your beauty? Wow. It's like people experience your beauty in a way that like they feel that like they will never have it because you are so uniquely beautiful. Like there's something so unique about you that they feel like they will probably have to do a plastic surgery. Like this is extreme wild. What the heck is going on here? Damn. Like, they will have to make some drastic changes. I told you, you are not afraid of drastic changes in your beauty here with the change card here. Okay? And they feel a rush. Like, people feel a rush to change their own beauty because I'm picking up you are a trailblazer. Like, you set trends in beauty. Okay? Like, you could, you, your trend, your aesthetic, your style is something that is going to be trending in the next 10 years, but you're already ahead of your times. So you are already setting the trend of something that is going to happen 10 years ahead the line. That's an Aquarian energy right there. And people feel like, some people feel scared to copy you because people might call them weird or like a creep or like what are you doing? But you can carry it off. Like the universe has given you the green flag that you can carry it off and people are going to love you for it. Because you have accepted your authenticity and you have accepted who you are uniquely as a person. Or some of you are in the process of doing that. And people can literally like, they can like get really emotional about this. Like they can get in their heart, like they, they can feel heartbroken that they can never have the beauty like you or they can never look like you. Okay. Like you put a lot of time and investment into how you put together your beauty. And like everything that you do suits you and they feel like it will not suit them or and they really want to copy you. Like they feel so like heartbroken that they can't do it or they don't have the guts to do it, the balls to be authentic or true to their beauty. Like interesting piles, man. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of wisdom in your beauty with the owl there. There's a lot of wisdom in your beauty and it's very like ethereal. Your beauty is very ethereal. It's cosmic. I was getting that word initially also with this card itself. I got cosmic beauty with the sparkle here and the waterfall here. But this looks like waterfall of light, you know. And there's this reel that I saw initially. Uh, my sister had sent it to me where every zodiac sign was shown as a monster. And I'll put up that picture if, if I can, okay. Of Aquarius as a monster. And this is something that they looked like. Like the light. It's, Aquarius was the only monster that looked like a light being. Like a fairy that had come from another world. That is what this pile is giving me, like. And even though in their monster face, like, that's how they looked, I was like, what? Aquarius, my babies, okay? <laughs> All right? So, yeah. And you could be into vibrant colors or, like, you could love experimenting with colors, okay? And it suits you. So, go for it. Like, if you have been feeling a bit shy or to experiment, like, go for it, okay? Because others love it. Keep trying. Keep doing you, boo. I'm telling you, okay, maybe at times you could have experienced people being a bit like hurt or sending you evil eye with all these tears here from the dark, like people see your beauty and they like want to like send dark vibes your way, like how dare you let your freak flag fly like that, how dare you be so 
how dare you glow like that even in your natural skin tone and how dare you look so cute and so hot and so sexy even with all these colors yeah there's something there's a lot of innocence in your beauty but there's something about your eye colors and the way you, way you do your hair and it's striking pile too okay it's striking and it's like a it's it's very cosmic it's spiritual like it's ethereal i'm telling you it's a it's a beauty from another dimension that's what your beauty is that's what people experience when they are around you they do not feel like they are on earth they are somewhere else so when people try to copy it they look like they they look like clowns i'm sorry but because they are not meant to copy you they are meant to find their own freak flag they are meant to find their own uniqueness which you have and you have dared to show it right so that's what's coming through very strong like people fall in love with you i'm telling you love at first sight a lot okay a lot people fall in love with you with your truth with your ability to be unique humanitarian um yeah zodiac signs i'm picking up taurus virgo capricorn uh, libra gemini aquarius very strong here okay uh, cancer is also here okay yeah cancer is very strong here very strong cancer here as well pisces scorpio file 3 okay so let me know in the comments did this resonate with you okay you're a truth teller as well you don't get keep your secrets like you if someone asks you how did you do that like what what colors did you mix to make that hair color like what did you do what is the uniqueness of you so that i can, they can copy it but then and you say it and they try it and they they regret it or they cry behind closed doors like damn i don't look at all like her or him like palthri okay so this is what i have for you palthri let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this like share comment subscribe